in media circles, Spotlight has been a sensation, an uplifting homage to the power journalists can wield when they're working at the top of their game. But Spotlight has also sparked pushback from individuals who say their portrayals in the movie don't jive with reality, sparking a debate about just how true a film based on a true story ought to be. Adam Riley has more. The Boston priest molested kids in six different parishes over the last 30 years. The movie Spotlight has been earning rave reviews from critics and from the Globe journalists whose work it recreates. We need to focus on the institution, not the individual priests. That scene is based almost verbatim on what Marty said to myself and Ben Bradley. Marty Barron, then the editor, in, in, now the editor email. of the Washington Post. They wanted to get it right. But Globe columnist Kevin Cullen says that in one case, they didn't get it right. The film shows Boston College spokesman Jack Dunn downplaying clergy sex abuse at BC High. But Cullen says Dunn was responsive, a claim Dunn himself made on Greater Boston. They assign language to me, dialogue to me, that I not only never said, but is the exact opposite of what I did on behalf of the high school. The Globe reporters who were there remember things differently. In a statement, Walter Robinson and Sasha Pfeiffer said, we consider the scene faithful to what happened. For what it's worth, Dunn isn't the only person objecting to his portrayal. Attorney Eric McLeish, former Globe Spotlight reporter Steve Kirkchen, and former publisher Richard Gilman have all voiced concerns of their own. With Gilman writing in an op-ed, some of the fictionalizing is harmless, some is not. Sometimes it's hard to remember it is, after all, a movie. The problem in this movie is that they assigned some names, fictional fiction names because they were composite characters, and other people real names. In the case of Jack Dunn, I cannot, I, I don't know. I wasn't there. It was a small meeting between, what was it, four people. It, Jack, Jack Dunn says one thing. Walter Robinson, Sasha Pfeiffer say another. I mean, you're going to have to believe who you will. Kevin Cullen from The Globe clearly believes uh, Jack Dunn. But it's a fic, you know, they, they probably should have made that a fictionalized character since you know, he wasn't consulted about what he said, just the reporters. As for the other people, you know, there, there was another scene in the movie where Walter Robinson was look, made to look bad. And that was apparently a fictionalized scene, too, when, he's, when he admits that he had been given the, the, that data 20 years ago and, and let it go. And so, some, so even though he was sort of lionized in the movie, there, he was made to look bad in at least one scene. You know, this is without passing judgment on who's telling the truth, and and people. I, I suspect everybody's telling the truth, but their memories right. have, have changed. <laughs> uh, what an odd genre we're talking about yeah. here, where where you're talking about a fictional movie based on real events with the names of real people. Yeah. It's very hazardous territory. You know, th there were hard feelings forever after the making of All the President's sure. Men. Mm. Uh, two of the top editors were crushed at the way they were portrayed or not portrayed. Uh, it broke up a friendship that Ben Bradley had had with one of the top editors. Uh, a few years ago, they made the movie A Civil Action mm. out of the Woburn Toxic Waste case. And uh, that's a story I covered for years, so I knew what had actually happened there. And they, did, they took some horrendous liberties with the truth that uh, really hurt people. This happens. I, I still say Spotlight is a terrific is. movie and everybody should see it. <laughs> just don't use people's real names, yeah. I think. If there's yeah. any question, just don't do that. Just make a fictional character mm -hmm. or, you know, whatever. Then we don't get into this. That, that's well, the only way you can do especially it. Especially since Jack Dunn still has that same job. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and they had the fictional character. And they yeah, had the character exactly. in that scene. So the, the safe uh, move might have been mm. anything that was questionable. Now, I, I think uh, what we have here is that Sasha Pfeiffer and uh, Robbie Robinson, they remember Jack Dunn's uh, presence there mm -hmm. or his contribution to the conversation. Uh, I gather it fits in there, there. But if there was any question, I absolutely agree, Callie. Why not mm -hmm. push it over into the safe spot? But, you know, you're, you're treading a thin line. You're making a film based on real events, and it is made to seem almost documentary-like. Yes. So yeah. the expectation that you are careful with it is... Uh, I think is raised a little bit. I remember the, uh, the, 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 the movie about whether there was a conspiracy to uh, kill Kennedy. Oh, it was yeah, that the Oliver Stone, Stone thing. thing. Yeah, Oliver Stone. Horrible. Real names, real case, and yeah. all of that, and yet it was purely based Fiction. on a hypothesis yeah, that right. uh, he had. Yeah. So that, that's the kind of thing you want to avoid. Yeah. I don't think this quite gets into that territory. Yeah, I would say, first of all, kudos to Kevin Cullen, mm. 
uh, for writing a hard-hitting column about this as soon as he became aware of Jack Dunn's complaints, and to Brian McGrory, the current Globe editor, for apparently mm -hmm. assigning it to Cullen and, and encouraging him to do so right away. it did create some fiction, friction in there. Uh, that was the proper response yeah. by those gentlemen. Mm -hmm. um, what's troubling, uh, watch for the Jack Dunn's lawsuit to be expeditiously settled out of court, mm -hmm. because neither the mm -hmm. filmmakers nor, if they're smart, and I think they are smart, the Globe, want to get involved in the dirty details of this. What is unseemly here is not what Hollywood did. What do you expect? When you lay down in the sewer, you're going to get crap on you, and that's what Hollywood is, okay? <laughs> Notwithstanding, apparently, it's an excellent movie. <laughs> uh, but they, they take liberties. We, we've all acknowledged that all the way. The problem is it's about an organization that is devoted to facts and truth. truth and the globe has wrapped itself in this movie, perhaps overly much, to the point where now they own this dirt, mm -hmm. or they're at risk of owning this dirt. That's why I think the cleanup crew is on standby. <laughs> okay.